Hey guys, Andy Bideau from Atree Real Estate. We're here at 18 Mirror Way in Piara Waters in the Reva Estate. Um, really nice estate, as you, you probably know where it is, just off the um, Nicholson Road there, um, not too far away from the, the new shop house or shopping centre there as well. Um, so yeah, nice. What we've got here is basically a nice uh, four bedroom, two bathroom, uh, rear loaded double garage, which I'll explain to you at the back. Um, with the front, really super low maintenance. As you can see, it's all um, artificial turf and paving. Um, if you wanted some garden or wanted to do something, a few plant pots to dress it up a little bit. But other than that, if you're not into gardening, this would be the perfect, perfect home for you. Um, nice wide gate on the side, as you can see. All right, let's he head through and, and have a look at the home. Um, as we walk through, you'll see the flooring that's in the entrance here is pretty much right throughout the home and the bedrooms as well. So really good for pets, allergies, those sorts of things as well. So no, no carpets in the property, which is great. All right, let, let's head through. First of all, we have the uh, master bedroom up the front here. So good size master room. And as I mentioned with the flooring, um, this good quality flooring uh, right the way through. We do have reverse cycle ducted air conditioning, so heating and cooling right throughout the home as well. Um, as you see, decent lights, nice light fittings. Um, all the wall colours really sort of um, just very sort of blank palette, I suppose. Um, so any colour furniture, anything like that you bring into this is going to work. Um, nice white sort of block out blinds, so you can just sort of go like that. All right, as we walk through, we've got um, the double robes, so this side and that side. Um, see through there. And then the bathroom, similar colours to the rest of the home. You have got your glass shower screens, your vanity with a mirror, and then obviously your toilet there with uh, also with privacy door, which is great. All right, let's head through. So that's the master bedroom. If we go across to the other side of the hall, um, we've got another bedroom here. So the way it's sort of um, configured is that there's two, two bedrooms up the front, two at the back. Um, the beauty of this is, I suppose, if you've got a really young child, baby, that sort of thing, um, nice to be near the master room, you've got that through there. Um, or if you only needed the three bedrooms, I suppose you've got a nice study up the front here as well. So decent size room. Um, also have got your robe there. And once again, as I mentioned, throughout the home, flooring the same, your blinds the same as the master room, and light fitting as well with your ducted air. So let's um, head through a little bit further. Um, a little bit from space perspective, they've done a couple of nice little things here. So you've got this little cut out, I suppose, with some PowerPoints um, as well through here. So, um, you know, if you've got a desk or even like a, a study desk or something like that, you could use that space or for your laptop, that sort of thing, if you don't want a full study. All right, and then we walk into the, what I'd call the main living area and the kitchen. Pretty much one big open plan space. Uh, you have got the high ceilings, as you can probably see there. Uh, some nice light fittings that run through the middle. Have got your ducted reverse cycle air conditioning through there as well. Got your stone bench tops, nice good fridge recess, gas cooktop, electric oven, nice size. You've also got your yeah, good size range hood. Through here, you have got a cutout uh, for your microwave as well and plenty of drawers and cupboards. And there is also a dishwasher recess there ready to go for your dishwasher and a pantry as well. So plenty of cupboard space, plenty of um, countertop, uh, all stone, uh, double sinks as well. Right. So basically this space here, as you can see, has no furniture in it, but it's, it's a huge space. So probably your meals um, and then your living, probably lounge suite across that side, um, has got your TV points and everything on that side. So I would imagine sort of your TV or entertainment on, on that side as well. Before we head out the back, I'll just take you to the other couple of bedrooms that you can see through here. So if we go to this side, this is the second of the minor bedroom. So first one was up the front, second one's here. Uh, once again, same flooring that's running through, same light fittings, uh, reverse cycle air con. You've got your blinds there, plus a robe as well. So fairly consistent with the theme right through the home as well. You have also got this space, which is great for if you've got teenagers or even younger, younger kids or older kids that you've got either a study area, gaming room, or you know, toy room for younger kids that you can sort of have out the way. So great space there for that. As we move along, we've got uh, the common bathroom. Once again, 
all glass shower screens, which is great. You've got your, your bathtub there, single vanity, double cupboards underneath, um, and sort of, uh, yeah, nice neutral colours in the tiles as well. Laundry. Uh, so the same colour theme with the tiles and everything follow through, so you can see that. Uh, you have got a slight glass sliding door that goes out to the back. Um, your trough, um, privacy door on the toilet there, and also you've got a good size living cupboard there as well. All right, the last of the minor bedrooms. So this is the fourth bedroom. All the bedrooms roughly, much or much, just the same size, so they're all a decent sized bedroom. You've got your robe, blinds, your light, reverse cycle air conditioning, and that same uh, laminated timber flooring, which you can see there, which is actually a nice colour. So works really well. All right, so let's, um, that's pretty much the house itself. So let's go outside, have a bit of a look what's happening out in the backyard. Um, that's a, this, this space is really good because you can sort of do really what you want with it. Um, as you say, your air conditioner, and you've got all your zoned areas as well through there. Uh, as we head out to the back, you do have this uh, fresco or patio, which is off the main roof through there, so not added on, it's built in. Uh, you do have some water, and there's a couple of outdoor power points as well through there. Uh, it is all paved right the way through. So once again, following with that theme of the front where it's really low maintenance, easy care, um, all you've really got, and this is all paved as well right through to that gate that I showed you at the front. The only bit of garden you've really got is just the garden bed that runs across the back. A couple of plants in once again if you didn't want that wouldn't be that hard to pave that out or whatever but quite nice to have a little bit there and then also if you want to dress it up a little bit as well you could you know bring in your plant pots etc all right so our fresco area uh in this door so it's got a a door which is a shopper's entry door fully covered under the alfresco straight into the house and you've got a really good size double garage now you can see the most double garages Walls about that wide on the side there. As you come through to this one, you can see there's a little bit of extra space that runs through this side as well. So whether you want to create a bit of a workshop or a bit of extra storage, you've got that as well. I'm going to open up the garage for you so you can see what's happening out there. So with the rear loaders or rear loader home, uh, ultimately there's normally like a little laneway that runs through the back that just services garages. So come out, let's have a look. So this is the back of the property. As you can see, you've got um, your double garage through that side. Uh, and then you've got this bit of extra wall space, which, as I said, is that inside extra space you've got through there. The street itself, as you can see, is where you, you'd put your bins out so you get bin pickup, but it's all pretty much just garages. So there's no um, house frontages through here. It just purely services your garage entries, which is quite nice as well. Okay, so that's pretty much... Um, the property. Uh, if uh, if it looks like something that may suit you, or you do want to have a conversation about, please feel free to reach out. Always happy to have a chat. Thank you.